I'm sure you already know this, a bounce can jazz up our looks. Also, making sure that our pants doesn't fall down and our skirts. So, I was wondering, do you own a leopard belt? If not, grab a belt and a sharpie marker. All you have to do is practice your leopard print about four to five times onto a sheet of paper and then start off onto your belt. Make sure to cover the whole belt with leopard because you really want this to look like you purchased a real expensive leopard belt. You can do this on a handbag and shoes too if you want. In two minutes, you will have yourself a trendy belt. Now here are some styling tips and ideas to rock for the week. Okay, when I think of leopard, I think of sexy and being fierce, so I want to go totally opposite for this concept of an outfit. I want it to be casual, comfortable, but also feminine at the same time. So I went with the pearl Peter Pan collar over a denim shirt and a linen shorts and a nice sweater vest. If you can get your hands on these platforms, they are so comfortable, but you can definitely wear this with a pair of sneakers or flats. Prints in general, you can mix up with other prints. Try balancing your print by adding a larger print like this floral dress over a smaller print like the leopard belt. Mixing prints really freshen up your wardrobe so much, but make sure you don't add large with large prints or small with small prints because you may look a little too much and it looks like you're wearing a blanket over yourself. So for this next look, it's taking a casual tee with a pair of jeans and using that leopard belt can help dress it up with a classic pair of pumps. Anyone can wear this and it's such a classic look. For the pumps, I have on with a twist of my do yourself color blocking. If you haven't seen that tutorial, please check it out. Look 4 is inspired by my love for Burberry jackets. They're trench coats with embellished belts. So I took my basic military jacket. I'm pretty sure many of you guys have this. Usually, I would wear this with something more laid back, like a pair of leggings and some boots. But here's something that you can try wearing for spring is adding soft color tones, like peach, baby blue, lavender, or pink like me. I am peachy for the slug. A flowy sheer top is my ultimate favorite for spring. I like to pair this with shorts, especially with orange because my belt is brown and brown goes well with orange and red. I wore this for an outdoor event where the pavement is uneven so flats are a must for this. You can also wear this on a perfect day walking in the park with your date or outlet shopping with the girls. A leopard belt can also break up a color blocking piece like this one. I'm showing you with my sweater in mint green paired off with these high waist pair of pants. Having a pair of high waisted pants are a great way of elongating your legs to make you look longer and also leaner. When you're wearing a nice tailored pair of pants, make sure it's at the ankle or fold it into a crop pair of pants. So I mentioned before that this leopard brown belt goes well with red, but you can also think about black, white, and brown. You can't go wrong with those colors. For my red satin top, I pair this with a sheer maxi skirt. You can also wear a pencil skirt and an A-line skirt for day and work. That's my style, a week with a leopard belt. Stay stylish and be inspired. Add me on Instagram, Twitter, and Facebook.